everyone this is v buzzing with v welcome to another video today's video is a purse pillow box i am using the very smallest purse pillow box in the set um, unfortunately the single set has been sold out however a pillow box bundle is coming very soon the uh, large one is currently available as well so go ahead and check that out at scrapdivadesigns.com she has an instagram a youtube a hashtag or a bunch of talented crafters projects using her dies. I want to go over the smallest pillow box. The It has seven pieces and it's four and three eighths by two and one eighth approximately assembled. Here I'm sharing with you how the die cuts look. I'm also using her essential circle die and the smallest circle in that set. Um, so here is what everything looks like. If you were to get it at home and die cut everything out, all the pieces would look like this. I do have a discount code for you. It's V10, that's V-E-E-1-0, -E and that'll save you 10% on the entire site at scrapdivadesigns.com. So the red pattern paper is the base. You will need two of those, and you will need to cut out as well as two of the layering pieces for each side. This is the base in pink, and I am snipping off that flap. So you do need one flap, the other flap is hidden. I end up cutting it off. So I'm gonna show you here with the blue cardstock that I do snip off one of those flaps. I do it freehand. You are able to use your trimmer to do that if you'd like, but I, I'm just using scissors and it works out for me. So that's that piece there. And so here are the two and one with no flap, the other with a flap. And um, now back to the pink. And so we're gonna use that flap to layer it over the front of the base. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the fun part. I'm getting situated. I find a scrap piece, so I just toss it to the side. Here are my lining pieces. This is the liner. I did add some sewing. There it is. I glued it off camera. Um, I am using hot glue. I'm gonna glue down the uh, handle as well. For the strap, I do use liquid glue, and that's Barely Arts. So let's go ahead and uh, adhere the rest of the pieces. Same way, I use hot glue, and for the, for the handle, I use liquid glue. Um, just be careful when you're gluing all of your stuff together. Um, be sure that everything is set right because I did mess up and you will see in a bit what happened. So this is what everything looks like. And I do also add the sides, here they are. I didn't do any stitching on those um, only because they're on the side and I did minimal stitching and just add a, a hint of gold thread. I think this pillow box is such a neat idea for stocking stuffers as well as craft fairs. You can add so much inside this box um, to use as stocking stuffers. I see eyeshadows, I see travel accessories like deodorant, shampoos, lotions. I also see eyeshadows and chocolates. So for the bottom, you have two of the flat pieces there so you can cut one like I'm doing now. I'm doing it with scissors just following that score line. You don't have to cut it but it just um, eliminates the bulk. Just going extra slow making sure I don't mess up. I'm folding the sides down. Um, it's easier I, I think it's easier to fold the sides down um, before it's assembled. Uh, so I guess everyone has their own preference. Um, you could try out yours and see how it works out for you. So going very slow here, making sure I don't tear anything, considering there is hot glue on uh, the pieces. I'm doing the other side as well. Okay, so now I'm gluing down the bottom flap and that's where I'm gonna adhere the uh, other side of that purse down. So I'm using hot glue as well. 
I'm taking a little risk here. Um, there's a possibility I can burn myself, and luckily I didn't this time. But I do that a lot. I choose to go the faster route in crafting, and it's always using hot glue. Okay, it's all set, and I like how it looks. This is what it's looking like. So here, this is where I glue down the flap. Do not do that if you're adding embellishments to the front and you uh, want that flap to show, you don't wanna do that. So um, I end up taking it apart later with my heat gun and uh, I, do, I do that off camera. So I did cut out an extra circle in white and I did a freehand um, landscaping for snow. And I also added double-sided foam adhesive to that and popped it onto my uh, snowman there. So that snowman is a journal piece that I cut out with the essential circle die. So it's time to glue it on. I'm using hot glue. And as you can see, it's larger than the uh, bottom portion of that pillow box so that's why I had to uh, unglue the flap and so I glued it down and everything looks perfect I'm adding the zipper I'm adding uh, the handle as well for that zipper and I'm loving how it looks I'm deciding to use this heart if I want to use it or not so I decide not to but you can use those different uh a zipper handles um, it doesn't have to all go on the zipper it could go in the front of the flap it can go on the handles as well so I'm getting out my twine I'm just loving twine this season uh, last Halloween season I used it as well and so um, I just brought it back for Christmas hoping you guys like it too So this is what it looks like. I added some poncettas. Um, these were a prototype that I did for um, one of my design team projects. And so I ended up using it because it was still good. And so I'm swapping out that circle uh, of, the, uh, of the truck with the uh, snow, nighttime snow circle. Um, that is also patterned paper. So uh, the traditional patterned paper isn't available anymore for Michaels. It's called Evergreen. However, they have one similar out now. I, I forget the name of it, but if I find it, I will link it below. Okay, so here I added all of my pieces. Um, I'm using stickers from the Snowflake collection. And um, here, as you can see, you can use stickers as well. Just add some hot glue or liquid glue just so they don't fall off later. So, you know, the stickers tend to fall off and the uh, adhesive isn't as great. But um, if you secure it down with other glue, you can, it'll look great. So I added also the landscape snow as well. And I also cut it out freehand. I just used the other side of the um, white cardstock that I cut out in that circle essential die and so I'm going to use the sentiment I'm thinking of putting it right under the bird however I decide not to because I wanted to add it add some holly berries as well as um, the twine the a bow for or well the bow um, I'm not going to freehand tie that bow I'm going to use glue so I know I said I was going to practice but I wanted to go fast We're just about done here. I'm just wrapping things up, adding my sentiment, adding my bow as well, using hot glue to do that. I decide to place that sentiment on the left-hand side. And there's my bow. Snipping off the excess on that twine. Well, this concludes the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next video.